All right, we're going to do an example in binary. Uh, so um, remember, binary is base 2, and so the digits available are 0 and 1. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to write out a number in binary, uh, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. And to indicate that this should be interpreted in binary, I'm going to put parentheses in a subscript 2, base 2. So uh, what I want to do is try to interpret what number this is. Let's begin with that. So the way that you interpret this is to think of each of these as being multiplied by a power of 2. How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 digits. So it's going to go, uh, the powers of, are going to go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is quite similar to looking at a string of coefficients for a polynomial and interpreting that as, um, you know, as telling you what the polynomial is with the power, like sticking the powers of x in. Um, since we have five digits, that means it's going to be, um, we're going to go up to two to the power of four. So uh, I'm going to write this as one times two to the power of four plus zero times two cubed plus one times two squared plus one times two to the power of one and then plus zero times two to the power of zero, which is going to be one. So that's what my number, that's what this number uh, is going to be. So let's figure out what that is in base 10. That's going to be uh, 1 times 16 plus 0 times 8 plus 1 times 4 uh, plus 1 times 2 and then plus 0 times 1. So this all ends up being 16 plus 8. Nope, nope, not plus 8, sorry. 16 plus 4 plus 2 and that's it. All right, and plus 0. So that equals 22. And that's, so that's what it is in base 10. So that's, that's an example of how you can take a number in binary and reinterpret it um, in, uh, in, base, uh, in base 10. I mean, you don't have to go through all this work necessarily. If you understand what's going on here, you can just look at this and say, okay, 0 in the 1's place, 1 in the 2's place, so that's plus 2, and then 1 in the 4's place, so then I add 4, now I'm up to 6. 0 in the 8's place and 1 in the 16's place. So I add 16 to 6 and I get 22 as my answer. So you can kind of do that in your head if you're comfortable with, un with interpreting it. Okay, so um, what I want to do now is show you, an show you basically how you can go backwards, right? What we just did is, is, is went from binary to, um, to base 10, right? What if you start with a number in base 10 and you want to figure out what it equals in binary? Well, first of all, um, what I want you to know is that since this is 16 plus 0 plus 8 plus 4 plus, uh, um, uh, sorry, 16 plus 0 plus 4 plus 2 plus 0, uh, whether you have a 0 or a 1 in the 1's place determines whether or not you have a plus 1, right? And since all of these are, all the rest of these are powers of 2, um, then all of the rest of these are going to have a factor of 2 in them. So whether you have a 0 or a 1 at the end is going to correspond to whether your number is even or odd, right? Uh, do you have a plus 0 in the 1's place or you, do you have a plus 1 in the 1's place? Uh, if, you, if it's a plus 0, then you have an even number plus 0. If it's a plus 1, then you have an even number from the rest of these digits plus one more, which makes it odd, right? So uh, I, wanna just want, I just want to pull that out and say um, and, and point out that that has to do with even or odd. So remember, if you if you take a number and then mod two, uh, so like take the remainder when division by two, then that also corresponds to whether it's even or odd. Zero if it's even and one is odd. So it turns out this number, uh, the last digit here, this is going to be uh, the number you're working with, mod two. Okay, it's the remainder. That number is going to be the remainder you get uh, after division by two. So uh, I want to walk through a, a process here for how you can start from this number and uh, kind of obtain uh, the, the string of digits. Uh, and I'm going to do it all in binary, but, um, but then we're going to rewrite it in, uh, you know, in, terms of, in terms of the number in base 10. And, I, and from this, we're going to like develop an algorithm for converting the other way. So uh, let's, I'm first going to write this out as 1 times 2 to the power of 4 plus 0 times 2 cubed plus 1 times 2 squared plus 1 times 2 to the 1 plus 0 like that. Uh, and so on the first pass through, um, 0, we, we're going to take out the 0 and say that is the, the, the 1's place. 
Now, in, when you're working in binary, sometimes you call the 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 like digits in the string. You call them bits because in 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 a computer, a bit is either a one or a zero. It's like a single um, digit of information, one or zero. Um, and so I'm going to call this the ones bit. All right. So now what I want to do to get the to get the twos bit is actually come through here and I'm going to divide this entire number by two. And when I divide this number, oh, sorry, the first thing I'm going to do, sorry, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of that. Now that I have the zeros bit, I'm going to remove it. Um, so I've got zero is the one is the ones bit there. Now I'm going to divide the rest of this number by two. Okay, I'm taking off the remainder and I'm dividing it by two. There we go. Now uh, what's going to happen when I divide by two is the powers are all going to shift down by one, right? So I'm going to kind of put arrows like this to shift them over. So this uh, this is going to become one times two cubed, and the one moves over, right? This zero is going to come over here. We're going to get plus zero times two squared. Um, this one here is going to move over. We're going to get plus one times two to the one, and then this one here is going to move over. And we're going to get plus one. So now uh, we're going to grab this one. We're going to grab this here and get one. Uh, and, and since we've divided by two um, uh, and everything's shifted down, this one, which is in the one's place of this number, is actually going to be in the two's place of the, of, of the original number, right? So this uh, is going to be, this uh, is the, the two's bit, okay? And now uh, we're going to um, remove that number, remove that. Remove that uh, that remainder there after division, and we're going to divide, divide by two again. Divide by two. Divide by two. Divide by two. And everything's going to shift down, right? Because the powers all go down by one. So this one is going to come over, and be, we're going to get one times two squared. And then this zero comes over, zero times two to the power one. And this one comes down, and we get the plus one. And then that is the ones bit of this number, but because we've divided by two twice, it's actually going to be the fours bit. So one is the you know, the number in the fours position, the fours bit. Okay. And then we'll repeat. As you can see, this is this is showing us an algorithm. Essentially what we're doing is we're we're dividing by two and we're looking at the remainder. Oh, sorry, we're and, and then we're we're getting rid of that remainder and taking just the quotient and dividing that by two. So um, this is gonna shift over uh, and we're gonna get one times two to the power one plus zero. So there's our eights bit, and then lastly, divide this by two and we get uh, a, a one, which is gonna be our the sixteens bit. All right, so now we have our list of, uh, our list of numbers, um, these, and these got crossed off as we went. So going back, our list is uh, zero in the ones bit, one in the, in the, um, in the twos bit, one in the fours bit, zero in the eights bit, and one in the sixteens bit. So we would write it. We would write them um, from left to right, uh, lowest to, to highest here. So we're actually going to get one zero one one zero. All right, and that is our is our answer. This is what twenty two. This is what twenty two equals um, when you convert it to uh, base two. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, this is a bit silly because you started with the number in binary, so of course you're getting the numbers, of course you're getting these answers. But the thing is, I, I'm showing you what this looks like in binary, but the thing is we can do the same process, but starting with the number written out in base 10. So we can take 22, we could have started with 22 here, and then said, let's do 22, uh, divide by 2, and get like 11 times 2 plus 0, right? The division algorithm. You, do, you perform the division algorithm, and you get the remainder. Right, and then we're going to take the quotient and do that divided by two and get um, two times five plus one. Right, two times five plus one, um, and then take the rem take the um, the remainder. That's the next bit, and then take our quotient, which is five, and uh, divide that by two. So five divided by two is going to be two times two plus one. Um, remainder. Quotient. 2 divided by 2 is going to be 2 times 1 plus 0. Remainder. Uh, quotient. 1 divided by 2 is going to be 2 times 0 plus 1. Remainder. And then now when the quotient is 0, you stop. 
So that is going to be our algorithm. We're going to keep successively dividing by two, taking the remainders as the as the, the digits in the binary expansion, and then taking the quotients and uh, moving on and taking that to the next step in the algorithm and dividing that number by two and, and, and continuing until we get down to a quotient of zero. So uh, let's write that out as a um, uh, as an actual uh, algorithm. Okay, so we're going to write out that algorithm. So we're going to have, uh, let's see, algorithm for um, constructing a binary expansion of a number given in base 10. So our procedure, let's call it binary exp, like binary expansion. Uh, let's tell it, call it expand, just to, so it doesn't get confused with exponentiation. Binary expansion, and we're going to give it an input of n, which is going to be a positive integer. Okay, so now um, we're going to have two things to keep track of. Uh, we're going to keep track of what the quotient is, because remember, as we were going down here, we, we were keeping track of the quotient, right? 11, 5, 2, 1, 0. Um, and the, we were, you know, sort of um, carrying that quotient on. Now, the very first number we took was 22, right? So actually, if 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 we're gonna do, if we're if that's the number we're gonna carry on to the next step and, and do the division, um, then let's start by taking Q, our quotient, and actually set that equal to uh, the original number that we input. So Q, which is gonna start being equal to n. Now, the other thing we have to keep track of is which step we're on, right? Because we had like the first step and or actually the zeroth step and then the first step and then the second step and the third step and so on. So we're going to have a little a little counter, which we're going to be moving up here. We're going to call that k. So this was like k equals zero and then this is k equals one and k equals two and k equals three and k equals four. And our goal here is going to be to come up with a, uh, a like a like a string of of um, of binary digits. And I'm gonna re represent that string like this, a0, a1, a2, a3, a4, and so on. And that's gonna go um, all the way up from uh, zero to um, what? Uh, well, whatever, um, however many digits we end up having, which we're gonna find out <laughs> after we, you know, by performing the algorithm, whatever the final value of k ends up being, well, that's how many digits we're gonna have. Okay, so going in, we don't actually know how many digits we're gonna end up with. All right, so um, the first value of that k, uh, we're gonna initialize it. Um, first value k is just gonna be zero, okay? And now, um, what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, start, like basically, we need to describe this algorithm of dividing by two and taking the remainder, set that equal to the um, kth element in the, in, in, in the string, and then take the, the quotient and carry that on to the next step in the algorithm and, and to do the division by two with. So um, I'm gonna use a while loop. That's the way the textbook does it as well. I think it's a good idea. Uh, we're gonna continue to um, loop loop through. Uh, we don't really know how many times it's gonna happen, but we're gonna continue to loop through until the quotient equals zero. So while quotient is not equal to zero, um, what we're gonna do is we're first gonna say, um, let's do the division and set the remainder equal to uh, the kth element in the, in the output string. So a k is that kth element in the output string. We're going to assign that a value of q, our quotient, uh, the remainder you get when dividing by 2, which remember is that mod operation. So q mod 2. So that gives us our output. Um, that gives us the, the, the digit in the kth position. Then we're going to redefine what q is. We're going to redefine our define our quotient to be q div two. So the previous q, which was started off as n, divided by two and take the take the quotient of that. Okay, that's what we're going to re we're going to take that and, and assign that, assign q that value. So q gets reassigned a new value right here. Then the other only other thing to do inside our while loop is just to increase the value of k by one, so that next time we run through the loop, we're going to be um, we're going to be assigning the next, we're going to be like finding the next digit in the expansion. So that's it. We're just, uh, you know, assign the kth digit, um, the value, the remainder value. We redefine our quotient to be the new quotient value, and then we uh, increase k. And that's it. You're just going to do that, and then eventually that's going to stop. It's going to loop, 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 loop until the quotient zero. And then when you're done, you're going to return 
uh, the string. You're going to return a k. Uh, is that right? A k. Um, or is it k minus one? Hang on a second. Let me think about that. Is it? Is, does it k or k minus one? In this example, it went zero. Uh, oh. Oh, actually, okay, so in this example, it was zero until after we did this, and then it incremented to one, and then it was, uh, and then after we did this, it incremented to two, and then, so the last thing that's going to happen is actually that k is going to increment to five, so because the k occurs at the end of the loop, the way this algorithm is set up, the, the incrementing k happens last, so, um, so after we've assigned the last value, k actually increases by one more. So when the loop ends, k is one number bigger than it should be. So actually, this is not a k. It starts with a k minus 1. We never assigned an a k because we didn't start the loop over again. Uh, so now um, it's going to go down from there, dot, 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 all the way down to like a 1 and then a 0. And that right there is going to, that right there is going to end up being our binary expansion of 